If you do, please just stand and raise your hands so we can acknowledge you. Praise God, hallelujah. We thank the Lord for our visitors that are with us today. Hallelujah. And we welcome you to feel comfortable in our service. Proverbs 17 and 22 says, A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit draws the bone. That's the King James verse. And in the English Standard Version, it says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit draws up the bones. So our prayer for you tonight is to be joyful. We pray that the spruce of the, the fruit of the spirit will be in you. That love, joy, and peace will overtake you, that it will surround you, and then it will bless you, that it will chase you down. Ministry, and if you are visitors, when we begin to sow our seeds, when we pronounce a blessing over our tithes, we want you to be partakers in that so that you may receive the same blessing that we receive. And God reminded me this morning, He said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. All right. He said, In all your ways, acknowledge me. And I shall direct your path. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, if no one can come to the Father through me. He says, I don't be people pleasers. Be God pleasers. Hallelujah. Don't be people pleasers, but be God pleasers. He said, because I am the way. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Well, as we prepare our time. Bring it down for me a little bit, fellas. Every Sunday morning here at Rawhon, we have our corporate fast from 6 a.m. to noon. We will pray for one hour at 5 a.m. each day. And at 7 p.m. afternoon, we are able to eat a healthy meal, but no fried foods either day. And we are to read a Bible chapter that the Holy Spirit will lead us into. Hallelujah. And every Monday evening at 7 p.m., Join us on the conference line, 712-770-4680. The access code is 654-794 to pray with us as we begin to pray, go before the Lord during our corporate fast time in unity, one and one accord. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday on Facebook Live, we have our weather forecast channel and it's yeah. new time. Hallelujah. At 5 a.m. And if you're not meeting us there, if you haven't been informed, here is your public service announcement. The new time is at 5 a.m. Don't just meet us there. Meet us there yeah. to hear what God has to say for your week. Because it's going to bless you, it's going to bless your family, it's going to bless your ministry, and it's going to bless everything that is connected to you. Be sure to tell your friends, your family, and your co-workers to, to, to tune in to hear what God is saying in the weather forecast. Hallelujah. Every week on Wednesday at 5 a.m. Yeah. Glory to God. Looking forward today, briefly after church, I'm asking that all of the youth from the babies on up to meet me in the youth room, Bingley follower service with all of their parents as we begin to prepare for our youth Sunday. I need to meet with you all briefly after church if you will meet us there. We appreciate it. Third Sunday, hallelujah, that's next Sunday. It's going to be our field trip day for the Raw High Children and Dress Down Day for us. So you can come as you are. You can come here anytime as you are. Those of you that's watching by the way of Facebook Live, you guys need to start connecting a little more if you're not doing so. And you don't have to dress up to come here. You can come in your shorts and t-shirt if you want to. You can come in your sweats if you want to. Because it don't matter how you come. It matter how you leave. And you won't leave the same way you came. Glory to his name. On the 23rd of February, which is the last Saturday of the month, we're going to have our general body leadership meeting. It's going to be on the conference call line at 6 p.m. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. And then March the 3rd. Everybody say March the 3rd. March the 3rd. Hallelujah. We're going to be celebrating our one, our only apostle, Vanessa Jackson, birthday. Glory to his name. You don't get excited about nothing else. You want to get excited about the avenue that God sent to you. On March the 3rd, we'll be right here at the Urban Campus celebrating our very own apostle. And if you are watching, by the way, on Facebook Live or the H Online Campus, if you are in the area or if you're not in the area, we invite you to come. Hallelujah. It's going to be a high time in the Lord, and you won't want to miss it. Amen. Uh, March 31st is going to be the fifth Sunday of March. It's going to be our youth day in the sanctuary. That means the youth is going to be taking over. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we expect great things from our youth. If you have children that you're watching online, we want you to bring your children so they can see what God is doing for the youth here at Rawhide. Hallelujah. July the 27th. If you haven't marked your calendars already, mark your calendars. That's going to be our back to school event. It's a Saturday. And we're going to bring more details. But July the 27th, put it on your calendar and prepare. Because we had a great time last year. And we're going to have a greater time this year. Hallelujah. These are our North announcements. Let us govern ourselves accordingly. Praise God. Praise God.
Today, and I'm sorry this was a lot compiled in one, but I but I, I got it out. Well, today is February 10th, okay? It's a new emerging of us with the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. So he's emerging us in the world, okay? The 10th is a complete and perfect number in the Bible. And we to serve a perfect God, okay? Executing the plan means to carry out, accomplish, to perform, or do. The wilderness was a plan to execute. It's where multiple tasks are carried out, completed. Everyone in here has to carry out multiple tasks to get to where they are right now. Okay? Okay. In Ecclesiastes 3 1, and this came right. out of that prophetic party last night. There was a set time for everything and yeah. the for every activity under the heavens. Yeah. Proverbs 16 9. The heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Okay? Yes. Jeremiah 29 11. This is a popular one. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Yes. Now, the reason why he told me to talk about the wilderness, you guys, because of course, again, I'll be 40 on Tuesday. God has been good to me, okay? I have been through. H-E-L-L -L and back. I, I have been, okay? But through everything that I've been through from childhood, and most of us that are called into the ministry, we yeah, start going through stuff as a young child, okay? Yeah, I was ostracized in school, called ugly, um, had lots of fights in school. I mean, I went through a lot. And even through that, Okay, God was still, even as a little girl, I can remember I would see things then, okay? Um, and I'm just kind of briefly going over my testimony because it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, but even through that, um, my mother started using drugs uh, when I was about five years old. Because I, I can remember when I got about eight, um, me having to get me and my brother dressed for school for pictures and get us out the house. Mind you, we in a big house, okay? I'm eight, and I'm trying to get my younger brother, which is 18 months younger than me, to school, okay? So I could not ever understand why. You know, even as a little girl, I, would, I had a lot of... Um, sad moments in my life. Um, I felt isolated. Like I said, I, I didn't have my mother there. She was in and out my life um, for years. But I always still stayed close to my mother because she was still my best friend. And again, you know, I'm a person, I, I learned how to forgive because you know what? We didn't know I didn't So, even through that, I went to stay with my father. My father was very active with me, but even going to stay with my father. My father was what they call me now a workaholic. My father worked a lot. So again, I was always by myself. I, you know, and I, I had other families, but still as a little girl, I'm like, I really don't have my mother. You know, she's in and out. Then my father's over here working because, you know, that's just how he was. He, you know, Talk worked. About it. And so I always felt isolated. I felt so isolated too. Uh -huh. I think I've said it before. Um, that song, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. Oh, I started God. looking for love at a young age. Uh -huh. I had my first child at 15 years old, okay? All, right. All a, a student in school. I had college letters before I even got in the ninth grade. I had college letters, you guys.
divorced at 29. I have a total of four children, you guys. I have 24, 21. I have three grandchildren. And I have two younger boys, 12 and 9. And I'm about to really get deep on you guys. When I was going through um, the divorce with my husband, um, I was in nursing school. So, as you guys see, I didn't, I didn't graduate. But I went. As soon as I got 18, I went and got my GDP and put myself right in college. Okay? In nursing school with two children and a husband. Young. Didn't know what I was doing. I had family around. Family helped me with the, with the younger two. Because if I didn't have my grandmother and my aunt at the time, and, and, and my father was living then, I don't know where I would have been, you guys. So I went I went through this through this marriage at 21 God was talking to me through this marriage. I was going here, he was going there. So he was like, you know, you're gonna have to make a decision. Okay? It was really hard for me, you guys. I struggled with that. That's why uh, we finally divorced at 29. But before we divorced, we were separated for three years. In that separation, you guys. I met somebody else, okay? And he met somebody else. I ended up having my last child is not my husband's child, okay? And he had a child by somebody else. So we finally just said, okay, it's time to get out of it. Let's, 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 let's get out of it. Um, so I really thought that marriage was bad. The guy that I ended up being with for six years was a, and mind you, then I'm about 25, 26. I'm a, I'm a RN, work, making good money, good house, everything at the time, okay? I went and decided to be, I decided to be with a drug dealer, gang member, okay? At 26. That's how I, that, that's when I really ended up in the world. Really, really bad I ended up in the world. I was clubbing. And uh, mind you, I'm going to step back. I have two grandfathers that were alcoholics, okay? Um, as a young girl, everybody would drink, and I'm like, oh, I want to drink. You know, I couldn't, that, that, that wasn't me, okay? But when I got hooked up with the drug dealer, okay, I went total opposite. I started drinking, right. and I liked it, and I was in the world, and I was clubbing. I was working every day. I was paying the bills. But I was out there. I, I was so out there to the to the point, you guys, where um, we were affiliated with other people that um, really had a bad influence on the world, you guys. Okay, um, this is this was my influence. Um, after I got into that relationship, and again, I never, I, I divorced, but I never really fully got over that marriage. So I brought more baggage over into that. I went from a casual drinker to a full-fledged alcoholic, okay? Full-fledged alcoholic. Still working and everything, but that liquor had me bad. It had me so bad to the point, you guys, to where um, when, when I drunk, I, I remember one day I was drinking, and I'm, I'm going to try to write this. I remember one day I was drinking, and I felt the evil demonicness come over me. I was doing this. I was drinking. All of a sudden, my head dropped, and I came up another person. That's what liquor was doing to me. Liquor was making me this evil, angry person. So everything from what I was dealing with as a young girl, with my mother and everything, with the marriage and everything, um, the liquor was my was my way. I thought to to mask everything, but oh my God, that liquor had me on a totally different level. Here I am, twenty twenty six, all in, kids in the club fighting, evil as ever. I I, I ended up in abusive relationships, you guys. I'm, I'm I'm getting I'm going to work, but I'm I'm, I'm getting beat on. Um, not even able to have my own car, my my money on it. I'm, I'm like. I really went to a bad place. And even through it all, okay, at the time I still had my father there. And I was still in church, okay, but I was ministry of music. I never answered my, my total calling into almost two years now. But um, just, just come to say, you guys, that, oh, my God. It took, and I'm, I'm being really, really, really transparent. It took for me 
to lose my father. I came down here in 2010. My father, I came down here because I'm my mother's POA. She's sickly. My mother stopped using drugs finally in 2006. And so the month I moved down here that next month, my father died of cancer. I knew my father was sick back in 2009, but then not knowing what I had in me, if I would have knew it now, I would have declared healing and all that, but I just was like, Dad, you're sick, you need to go to the hospital. Well, my dad didn't want to go to the hospital. So I ended up losing my father. Um, that right there woke me up because I see my father's life. My father was a very good man. My father was a person that always gave to everybody but never did anything for himself. And again, he was a, he was a workaholic. And then finally when he retired, you know, he died. So when I moved out here, you guys, I was still drinking, okay? Um, still working, drinking. It took for me, and I'm being real transparent, to get a DWI in 2013 Ooh, for me to wake up. And the thing was, that night, I knew I had way too much liquor in my system, and I wasn't even planning on driving home. But because of me being in the world, my children, my older two, were in the world as well. My 24-year-old my got gang affiliated down here and everything. So they were having a party at my house when I was gone. They called me and was like, Kendra, you got to get home because you got two, two different gangs fighting here. So in my mind, I'm thinking that I was sober-minded enough to get home. Well, nope, I wasn't. But that was my wake-up call to stop drinking, you guys. Okay? So, um... Yes, yes. So even through that, even through being abused, uh, not having my, you know, my mother really there, drinking, um, being in the, the last abusive relationship I was in, that abusive relationship pushed me to go back to school to get my master's. That's the, that's why I'm a nurse practitioner now, you guys, because it, it it pushed me to go back to school. I needed to go isolate myself somewhere because I was just I was in a bad place, you guys. So. Through all this, I'm saying, it took for me to go through, and, and it's even more than that, but I can't even go there right now because it's time, I know time. But it took for me to go through, you guys, and to really see the darkness of me, darkness of this world, for me to say, you know what, God? Jesus. You've seen me through everything. Amen. You love me, Amen. regardless of what I did. Yes. Glory. Regardless of what went on, he was always there my, 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 to love me and comfort me, you guys. Yes. And that's all I was ever looking for was love, but he was right there in front of me, and I didn't know it. My God. He was right there, you guys. So even through all that wilderness, I still thank God for the good and bad, because all things work out for his good. Everything that I've been through in that wilderness is my ministry. I'm able to help people now. I'm able to spot out. When people are going through stuff, I'm able to say, hey, I've been through this very thing. I know what to do. Let's pray. Let's do this. Let's do that. God, God really speaks to me, okay? And again, I just answered my calling in the fivefold in 2017, you guys. So I haven't been in this that long, but you know what? I'm not a baby in the spirit. I've been with the Lord. But it's a difference, okay? It's a difference. I, I believe, okay? But see, I believe them, but now... Now I'm in him now. I'm in him now. He's in me now. So now I'm able to turn everything that I've been through into something positive. And that's why he told me to tell y'all today, everything that you guys have been through, you got to execute the plan. So everything I've been through, that's some of my businesses right there. That's, that, that's why I'm a nurse practitioner because I'm able to take care of people. I don't do just take care of the medical. I take care of the spiritual as well. Yes. So don't, don't count out your wilderness, oh God, you guys. Don't, don't count it out. Count it as a blessing because everything in it is a way to execute what God needs you to do in him. So I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. You guys be blessed and encouraged, okay? And we're coming out of the wilderness, thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Sunday and we're going to keep on getting yes. the word and we're going to keep on doing the weather forecast and we're going to keep on yes. praising God and getting in our word and doing what we need to do and growing in him because there is a world that needs us. And we're going to do what God's called us to do. And we're going to live our life to the fullest in him. He will be the head. He is the head. And nobody comes before him and we will do what he's called us to do. This is the time of the service where we bring our tithes to the Lord Jesus. And here at Braha Ministry, we are 100% tithers. Hallelujah. I don't hear y'all praising God. that your tithes will increase yeah. in Jesus' name and that your offering will increase. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Did you guys look at the, the service on in, the, in Rawhide, Houston? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We went in praying.
Is it a puzzle called Snow Snap? <laughs> what does she want? <laughs> you got the word. So if y'all see me shaking and all that, yeah, I still get the butterflies up here. I understand. I The guy chose me to be his vessel, and I'm like, what? <laughs> he wants me to be my his vessel, and he wants me to speak his word today, so I'm going to speak his word. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to thank everybody that came up before me. Because to me, that was like confirmation. And it always happens. Yeah. Yeah. The words before, yeah. the prophetic word. Yeah. Yes, the prayer. Amen. And it's just everything that comes out of our mouths. Yeah. It's just a confirmation as how we are aligned. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, needless to say, my wife called me. Wednesday or Thursday. Nah, it might have been, it felt like Friday, Saturday. <laughs> so it was like, uh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse me if I read it, I didn't memorize it, all right? That's not why I was last night. That's not why I was last night. Because I was like, God. Come on. Why? Exactly. Come, come on, yes. God. Yes. <laughs> I got to get the word. Yes. And I, I hear you all the time, but I want to really hear you right now because you got me up here. Yes. Yes. I don't know why he gets me up here, baby, because somebody out there in Facebook world yes. or somebody right here in this ministry will understand me. Amen. 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 Yes. Just like somebody yes. understands that's right. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Well, the word for today is time to reset. Come on. Hallelujah. It is time to reset. Our ways. It is time to go back to default. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Definition of time. The plan when something should happen or be done. Schedule when something should happen or be done. To arrange when something should happen or be done. Definition of reset. To set back to the initial state. To adjust again after the initial failure. Some Bible verses. Come on, dude. Isaiah 43, 19. Behold... I am doing a new yes. thing now. Yes. It springs forth. Yes. Do you not perceive it? Yes. I will make a way in the wilderness. Come on. <laughs> on. The rivers in the desert. That's it. Yeah. Confirmation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did y'all not hear wilderness already? Yeah. 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 She is my family Amen. in the ministry. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is something how God does that. Yes. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Right. Therefore, yes. if anyone is in Christ, yes. he is a new creation. Yes. creation. Yes. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become a new. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, folks, well. it's time to reset. Yes. Yes. You work this thing. That's right. Therefore, now, then back, let's just remember back when we were children. Uh -huh. Come on, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Now, when we were children, right, we had no idea about the different cultures. They'd be standing right next to us. That didn't mean nothing to us, right? Right. How about hatred and all that? We didn't know nothing didn't about know it. Nobody. They played with everybody. Yeah. If you knew how to play the game, you were in. Right. Huh? Right. All right. All right. There was no cursing. No drinking, no All smoking. Right. Right. Smoking some anyway. Yeah. 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 There was no talking smack. We didn't do that. We just All didn't right. play. Yep. Amen. 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 There were no bad attitudes. You didn't know how to drive, so there wasn't no road rage. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there was no abusive behavior. Again, we just wanted to play. We were kids, right? right we just wanted right. to have fun. See? 
We want everybody to like us and we want to like him. Amen. Amen. We were just a loving bunch of joy when we were children. Now, as we start listening to the world, the world changes you, don't it? Yes. Introducing us to culture, culture differences. My God. Introducing us to hate between yes. different races. Mm -hmm. Listening to our elders curse. We just learned something, didn't we? Yes. Yes. What did they say? <laughs> I like that word. I'm going to use it all the time. I don't know but what you it means, but we're going to use it. At school, you know, when your parents can hear you. Right. But your parents hear yes. you. Yes. 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 We begin drinking. Uh -huh. yes. Smoking. Uh -huh. Right. Smack talking. Right. Bad attitudes. We learned about our indifferences. Yes. You know, hey, he look different than me. Uh -huh. you know? What's wrong with him? He wear glasses. Come on. He ain't got no hair. <laughs> I think he ain't got a hair for like me. <laughs> Something ain't wrong. He lighter than me. <laughs> All right. I really don't well, like him. Amen. 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 <laughs> but somewhere between listening to the world and not to God's word, while we were growing up, we changed. Yes, yes we did. Amen. Yes, yes. We became something. Yes. A lot of times that's something we don't even like. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. But something about it, we just have to keep on going with it because we didn't already create it. But you just want to tell you, you can reset anytime yeah. you want. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Amen. Is that right, yes. Yes. We can reset anytime we yes. want. Right? Yes. That's why my word is it's time to reset. If you are unhappy with who you are, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Let's reset. Yes. 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 Ooh, look at me looking at y'all. Y'all yeah. yes. get this. Y'all definitely get this. I got it. When he spoke it to me, started making me look it up, I was there. I was like, whoo, thank God for reset, because I, I remember when I was somebody before I got here. Before I met the apostle. Giving the apostle some praise again for making me reset. standard version. So, whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. At this point, Jesus takes a, a retrospective uh, glance at all that he has been saying since Matthew 5, 17. 13. Enter by the narrow gate for the gate is wide, and the way is easy that leads to destruction. All right. And those who enter by it are many. Mm. Y'all get that? Yes. yes. I got it. Yeah. Ain't it easy Come on. to be bad? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't it easy to do the wrong thing? Come on, okay. Okay. Come on now. It's easy to get in trouble. It is easy to get in trouble. No, no, it is. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, they created some laws. <laughs> you got the police department out there. You got the judge. You got all kind of stuff going on to keep us straight. To make us walk the narrow. To keep us in alignment. Now, they're all trying to send you back to God. They're trying to tell you something. If you just listen to God, you'll be all right. If you read your Bible, you'll be all right. Yes. Yeah. I know you're looking at the world, and it's like it seems like everybody's going that way, and I'm going okay. this way. Come well, on. you need to keep on going yeah. that way. Yeah. Because they got something for you. Yeah. They got that wide path, and guess where it leads? My sister said it. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna spell it too. H E L. I know. Hallelujah. Yes. 
So, if y'all want to follow the world, follow, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> With the world. I ain't going. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Um, I'm going to follow the narrow. Yeah. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Y'all understand that? Yes. 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 See, I keep hearing in my head, you know, um, one out of a thousand or a million is going to be the few. One. Just one. It wouldn't be nice if you knew. <laughs> you don't. So you might want to go that way, the literal path, and not this wide one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, the stay with God. Let the apostles say, let's stay with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So, what do you think of the message? Hmm? What do you think it's trying to tell you there? Christ came to teach us not only what we are to know and believe, but what we are to do. Not only toward God, but toward men. Not only toward those of our party and persuasion, but toward men in general. All with whom we have to do. That's everybody. I didn't hear anything in here where they said, mm, not them, or not her, or not those. That's everybody. Hmm. Now I like that saying, do on others as you have to do on you. Do we do that? Amen. No. Hallelujah. I was on the work, on the way to work. Just driving. I ain't really late, but I like to be there at a certain time, 30 minutes earlier. I'm one of them people. All right. And somebody pulled up in front of me and started going 10 miles in a 70. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Guess what I did? Blew the horn, got the same horn that I yeah, 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 yeah. by Come myself. On, Come on, but now. I think even if I kept Come it myself, on. God would hurt. Yeah. 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 What's wrong with me? Come on. I'm trying to be the few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not the many. Yeah, that's right. All right but there. you know what? It takes work. It takes time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It does. It does. It does. It takes time, and it's not easy. Yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a path. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you pray that you have the time to be the few. Okay. Now, you cannot reset if you don't want to. That pass is just going to be longer. Yeah. Repeat that. You know, Repeat I, I want that beeline, which gets me straight there. And I think the only way to do that, and God's trying to tell y'all, to tell me, to tell y'all, it's time to reset. Time to reset. Time to reset. Time to reset. Hallelujah. All right. Everybody else got cold, I got cold. Corona. I, I, I like, wow. And then, uh, as I woke up this morning, God said, I'm going to clear you long enough <laughs> to, to teach the word. And after that, you need to take care of yourself. That's right. I've been trying to tell my kids, I'm going to take care of you for now. Hmm. After you're done, you need to take care of yourself. That's, that, that's the key part right there. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So let me go back a little bit there. All with whom we have to do. All right. We must do that to our neighbor, mm -hmm. which we ourselves acknowledge to be fit and reasonable. We must, in our dealings with men, suppose ourselves in the same case and circumstances with those we have to do with and act accordingly, folks. There are but two ways, right and wrong, good 
and evil. The way to heaven and the way to hell. In the one or other of these, all are walking. There are no middle place. No middle way. All the children of men are saints or sinners. Godly or ungodly. <coughs> See concerning the way of the sin of the sinners that the gate is wide and stands wide open. You may go in at this gate with all your lust about you. It gives no check to appetites or passion. It's easy. No credit card required. No resume required. You ain't even got to be good at being bad. It's wide open. It's open for you if you want to go. It is a broad way. There are many paths in it. There is choice of sinful ways. You have it. Any kind of sinful ways you want is there for you. There is a large company in this way. But what profits is there what profit is there in being willing to go to hell with others? Because they will not go to heaven with you. That's right. All right. Come on. The way to eternal life is narrow. <laughs> Daily temptations must be resisted. All right. Come Duties on. must be done. We must watch in all things and walk with care. And we must go through much tribulations. Amen, Siskin? Amen. 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 And yet this way should invite us all at least to life. Yes. To present comfort in the favor of God. Yes. Which is the life of the soul. The eternal bliss. The hope of which at the end of our our way should make all the difficulties of the road easy to us. This plain declaration of Christ has been disregarded by many mm -hmm. who have taken plans to explain it away. But in all ages, the real disciple of Christ has been looked on as a singular, it ain't fashionable, and all that have sided with the greater number have gone to the broad road to destruction. If we will serve God, we must be firm in our faith. We must be obedient and not stray from the gate that is the narrow way. And how few there are that will find it. Amen. 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 So, And close in 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. But God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Ooh, that's a big one, ain't it? Self-control. Ooh, boy. It was easier when mom and dad had control, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Self-control, they let us go. <laughs> You're on your own. And like they said, it's up to you. Take care of yourself. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make straight your path. Luke 13, 2 through 4. Strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Y'all might want to read that one. All right. Say you think because you're going to church, you think because you, you can't say you look for it. You know, at dinner time, and when you get up in the morning before you go to sleep, and your faith and your spirit and your soul ain't really there. I went to church. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna get it. 
<laughs> read that to y'all again. Yeah, right, read right, that right, one right. again. <laughs> Luke 13, 2 through 4. Strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Yes. Yes. Right. Don't do nothing else. Y'all might want to keep on reading that. <laughs> John 16:33. I said, I have said these things to you, and that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Yes, yes. God got you. Yes. If you seek Him.
you know, the seed declaration is, is a little longer than the tithe declaration. Yes. Hallelujah. You know what? And, and we're not going to make it short because we want our seed to come back. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, we put our tithe into the ground and we out of obedience. But our seed is where everything else comes forth for us. So repeat after me. It says, we believe, we believe. therefore we receive. Therefore we receive. God, God, you have blessed, you have blessed. Our, land, our land, and it yields yield. her increase to us. We have jobs and better jobs with good benefits. We have money in our savings and checking accounts. Everything we do and touch for God will prosper. Raises, bonuses have come to us today. Settlements, inheritance, commissions, bonuses, investors have come to us today. Promotions have come to us today. Checks in the mail, rebates, gifts, surprises have come to us today. We receive our harvest. Today, we are debt free. We pay cash for everything. We walk in wealth, prosperity, abundance, and more. Then enough if we, that we have now. Lost money found. Our bills are paid in full. Our debts are demolished. Royalties received. Today, supernatural favor is in our finances. Today, we own our houses, cars, buildings, businesses. We pay for cash in full today. All of our projects are paid with cash in full today. We are 100% tires, 100% seed source. We give bountifully with joy. Therefore, we receive bountifully. We pay cash for everything. Owing no man nothing but love. We honor you, God, with our seed. We are good stewards over what you have given us. Now, we made this declaration. Bring your seed and sow it into the ground. 